Sometimes, but rarely, she went to the pictures. She didn't hold with goings-on, and had given up working for an artist and his wife when she discovered they weren't properly married. She didn't read books, but she enjoyed the Sunday paper, and she liked old magazines when her ladies gave them to her. Although she didn't go much to the pictures, she was interested in hearing about film stars and their doings. She wasn't interested in politics, but voted conservative like her husband had always done. Never spent much on clothes, but got quite a lot given her from her ladies, and was of a saving disposition. The cottage where Mrs. McGinty had lived was only a few steps from the bus stop. Two children were playing on the doorstep. One was eating a rather wormy-looking apple, and the other was shouting and beating on the door with a tin tray. They appeared quite happy. Poirot added to the noise by beating hard on the door himself. A woman looked round the corner of the house. She had on a coloured overall, and her hair was untidy. "'Stop it, Ernie,' she said. "'Shan't!' said Ernie, and continued. Poirot deserted the doorstep and made for the corner of the house. "'Can't do anything with children, can you?' the woman said. Poirot 